Hello basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm going to talk to you about the basic motion offenses that you can run with your team. So hello everyone, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training. If you're new to this channel, on this channel I show you basketball plays, drills, and skills. So if you like that stuff, hit that like button and subscribe. But anyways, today I'm going to talk to you about some basic motion offenses that you can incorporate with your basketball team. So let's get down to the clipboard and let's check these out. Okay, so this, this first offense is going to be very simple. What we are going to do is have player one pass over to player three. We're going to be going up against the man-to-man -man defense, but this is also good against the 2-3 zone and many other different types of zones. So then we're going to have player one go down into that corner. Player one defense is going to obviously follow, and player four is going to go up towards the point. Now, from there, what we will do is have player two, he is going to go and fill player one spot so that now we can reverse the ball. And to reverse the ball, we are going to have player three pass to player two. Player one is going to be running the baseline. Player five would be screening for him at this point, And he's going to be popping out to this side. What's going to happen now is player two is going to pass player one the ball. We're going to have player four blue go down to the post. We're then going to have player 5 go up towards the free throw line and player 2 is then going to go down into that low corner. And we're going to be continuously running this play through and from there what we're going to have again using player 4 as a screen now he's going to be popping up. And what we're hoping for is to have some open basket or open shots from these corners, open shots from along the baseline or some high to low passes especially if we're up against a zone defense these are this is a very useful play and I'm going to break it down even further in a future video now this next motion offense I'm going to show you up against the 2-3 zone mainly because it's very good against the 2-3 zone we're gonna have player 3 pass the ball over to player 2 which is going to bring player 2 over player 4 over and player 5 over player 3 red is going to sag into the key and player 1 is going to be guarding his farthest reaching part of his zone. Player 4 is then going to pop up to that high post. And now we are in that overload offense where player 2 could pass to player 4 and hopefully get some high low passing going. And then what's going to happen is player 2 or sorry player 3 is going to then screen away if it's a man to man defense. If not, he's going to be screening player 1 red so that one blue gets the ball, he's going to then fill player 1 spot. And now again, same thing. Now we are now moving the defense over and we're going to have player four go down to that low post, player five go into the high post, player one pass over to player three. And now we are shifting the zone. And now because we're shifting the zone by going from side to side against a zone defense, we are now possibly opening up holes in that zone defense to score easier. Now another basic motion offense that you can run, this is obviously against a man-to-man -man defense, but again you can, and I have videos about this offense going up against a zone defense as well. And it's very simple, it's a 5 out, pass and screen away. You're going to picture that there's 5 spots on the court that always need to be filled. And with that, he's going to screen away, player 3 is going to fill that spot. Player 2 can pass to him or he can pass to player 5 one or the other. Player 3 could have an open shot if he's wide open. And then from there, player 1 is going to fill player 3's old spot. Now, if the ball gets passed all the way over towards the corner, what's going to happen now? Obviously, player 2 has to screen away because he just passed the ball into that direction. If player 5 was to pass out to player 1... Player 5 needs to screen away, and to do that, he is screening across court for Player 4. Again, Player 4 could be open in that key for a basket. If not, he's going to continue out to that 3-point line, and same as Player 5. So it's very simple, and you can also go and run, a, run an offensive set with this called Pass and Screen 4. And this is going to be a screen and roll. When he rolls towards the basket, because there's an open spot up here, player 3 needs to fill, 5 needs to fill that way, and player 1 is going to fill out. Now there's also one more 5 out basic offense that you can run, and this one is pass and cut. So you're going to pass and cut. 
Now if he's open, hit him up for the layup. If not, because there's an open spot here, player 4 needs to then fill out that spot. Very simple. If the ball is in the corner and he passes out of the corner, he needs to cut towards the rim, but he's going to be, because there's nobody else over in this area, he needs to pop back out. So he's going to go post up for a second, unless he's wide open. If he beats his man, hit him up for a pass. If he doesn't beat his man, he's going to post up for a second, and he's going to pop right back out. Now I hope that these basic offensive play, motion plays help your team. If they do, let us know in the comments below, and I will see you guys again tomorrow for another daily basketball video.